five on the rating of one to ten. One being kind of the worst kind of day and ten being the best kind of day that we can get this time of year. We're going to go um, half full. At least we've got something in the glass to work with, right? Skies are going to part for some sunshine and we'll see the winds picking up. And I think this is really going to be the wrinkle in this day is those biting winds. It's going to feel brisk and chilly throughout the day. And uh, by this evening, temperatures will be diving towards the freezing point. Long Island, good morning, Massapequa. You've got 35. Same for Hop Hog. Great Neck has 38. Down the shore, 37 degrees right now. Central Jersey, also in the mid to upper 30s already. Newark at 38 degrees. Meanwhile, we're below freezing for Monticello. They were the only spot last night that went sub freezing. A few flakes were flying north and west. Our temperatures will climb gradually here over the next couple of hours by uh, four or five degrees or so. And that sunshine will look very good, but the winds will make it feel cold all day. So the wind chill factor remains in the low 30s throughout the rest of this day. Now going into tomorrow, we'll see a nice transition towards colder air. That cold air at the surface will be met by some warm moisture coming up from the south. Watch it here. 42 brisk and chilly today, then tomorrow 35 degrees and late in the afternoon into the evening we'll see the snow, ice, then rain mix come in. So the moisture comes and sort of overtakes the cold surface and that's why we'll be uh, different shades of cold, if you will. Speaking of shades, what colors? The purple is snow, the pink is ice, and the blue is rain. So points north and west of New York and much of New York overnight, Sunday night into Monday, we'll see snow. But then the pink comes in, mixes it out, and by dawn on Monday morning, we see a rain overtaking the system. There might be a little snow accumulating for New York City. However, the rain's going to come in real rapidly overnight and melt any of that. So I don't expect to wake up to a lot of snow on Monday morning. So the jet stream will put us in an active pattern for a storm, but it'll also lock up some real frigid air. So by the middle of next week, we'll be dealing with temperatures, daytime highs in the upper 20s and low 30s. 42 degrees for the high today. Tonight, we go down to 28, and then tomorrow it's mid 30s. You'll notice this cold air will be in place right as the moisture comes in, and that's where we get the flurries flying around 4 or 5 o'clock tomorrow.